So I think one of the biggest problems people had with me and my dinosaur is not that it's difficult, it's that it's frustrating. And there are just some bugs and more of some design flaws that sort of cause that. One of them you might have noticed, I'm holding up so I should be constantly jumping, but sometimes I don't because Crackleface is moving his nose up and down. And in this game, if something goes up and catches your feet as you're jumping, you just stop which usually is not a problem, but like if you're trying to jump off Croco Face, there's a small chance that you won't and you'll mess up, which can kill you. And there are a couple of platforms that move up in this game that if you jump on them at the wrong time, you just don't jump. That is also another problem. It, I didn't even mean to do it that time. Certain... Yeah, certain ground will just suck you up into it, basically. Like, I understand it's a normal platformer thing where you can jump up over a platform and then stand on it. But in this game, you just go straight up through it. It, it just feels a lot more natural if you jump a normal height, and only if you're, the top of your jump actually lands above the platform do you stand on it. But in this game... If you come in contact with a solid thing, you just end up on top of it, which causes quite a few bugs. Okay, I really need to stop doing that now. It's... Well, I guess it could be considered a bug in itself, but... There could be some legitimate reasons for doing that, but... As is, it's just sort of awkward and causes some problems, because you don't always expect it to happen it would make a lot more sense for some things to be solid and some things to not be solid very clearly. And I was actually contacted by uh, Nick Roger, the creator of this game, and I was very surprised to see that, and I'm very honored he commented on my last video. And I'm apparently the only person that's done a recording of this as of yet, which really surprised me. Anyway, one thing to note, these elevators are painfully slow, and there's really no reason gameplay-wise for them to be this slow. They could be about three times that speed, and there's just no reason for that. It just is too slow. Someone apparently had a problem where they didn't realize you're supposed to end the game there by standing on the sign. I guess it could be a little clearer. I never had that problem, but I just noticed somebody on Newgrounds apparently did have that problem. Or Croco Face can't jump. Anyway, I'll just be noting out little usability problems I see as I go. Oh, one thing. This ability to sort of double jump when you fall off an object is extremely helpful and pretty much needed to beat the game, but you're never told you can do that, which is annoying. And one more thing is that it just... Why can't I stand on Krakoface's tail? If you stand on Krakoface and you try to go down, you fall off right when you hit his haunch there. Which, I'm not sure why you can't just stand on his tail. Because it just feels very... You don't have a good sense of when you're going to fall off. Which can contribute to deaths in a few occasions. And I just don't see why his tail shouldn't just be a solid platform, too. One thing I wanted to note that I do like is that it's really easy to tell that you can't drop bones through this spongy material. It just makes sense once you know what happens. And there are some other materials you would think you could drop a bone through, or you would think that the bone would stop, but it also goes through, and that just makes less sense. This is another elevator that really should just be faster. Oh, and this dog. Let me show you that dog. The dog does weird stuff. Um, for one thing, this. Hey, he didn't do it. Let's show you the, the sort of glitch. Yeah, he warps up there, and then as he falls down, he warps. It's just something that happens when you run into the side of certain materials, you just warp up into it, which is awkward. I guess that, I'm not sure if that is a bug or if it's a design intent, but it just seems weird. One thing I wanted to note that I like is that these dogs with the different sizes, the different scale, you know, it's a little touch, but it adds some variety that it's really easy to add variety, and I just like to see that because it just makes it a little less bland when 
There's just a little teeny bit of variety in there. This level also had some problems, though. Here is pretty much a glitch. Yeah. You warp up through that spongy stuff. You warp up through this, too. Thing Walls just aren't acting solid for some reason at, at some points. And there's another one here. Look, I press the switch, but nothing is coming. For the longest time, I thought this was a glitch. There's actually another switch up here, but... What it seems like is that it's just a glitch, and that this walkway just did not appear, because it's, it seems like it one should. But there's really no indication you need to find a second switch, which makes it annoying because you can't see the switch. When you drop a bone and Krakow face drops straight over it, he does a little flips back and forth like that, which, I'll show that again. If you try to land on Krakow face while he's doing that, you can die. And he really should just stay in one orientation and stop. It just looks glitchy for one thing, and on rare occasion it can get you killed. It's just sort of bad design. Here's something that really shouldn't be possible. Boink! Ow, my head. Ow, my head. You float through metal. Of all the things that you'd think, yeah, you probably can't pass through that. You can fly through the metal. And here's something I actually found sort of too forgiving. You can just stand here, and this is this makes it a bit easier than I thought this would have been intended. Oh, and here's that bug I was talking about where you can't jump if the platform's going up. I think he just needs to be, maybe just needs to be forced more up with the first, the very beginning of the jump. Or maybe he just shouldn't be able to interrupt the start of the jump. So that issue with the walls that sometimes when you hit the right side of them, they jump up. I can see why you want that some, that was not supposed to happen. Anyway, sometimes you want, like here, a cargo face bumps into the right side of the, the wall, basically. Oops. Oh, hey, you made it. And again here, you want that to happen for him to jump up, basically, when it hits the wall. On occasion, that makes sense, but generally speaking, it's just awkward. Speaking of awkward, he's sort of doing a jig there and floating on the step. Anyway, this was another annoying thing. If I want Krakow Face to go over here onto the to get up here, he needs to be on the far right step. But if I accidentally make the steps go all the way up, I have to wait for this step to go all the way down. And that's just awkward in general, and it, it could be made a lot better just by making it fall down a lot faster. Because there's really no reason, well, there's a bit of a reason it's slow, but it could be a lot faster and it'd still be possible to get across. See? it It's just a pain to try and get him all the way over on the top here. And to get him up there, I have to wait until that goes all the way down. And I can just jump on his head and get over here anytime. Come on, Crackle Face. I just thought this neutered spring was sort of funny. You're supposed to jump the second you hit it, but this one just does not work that way. Anyway, a surprisingly annoying thing is there's this slope here. There's really no reason for the slope to be here. It lets Krakow Face come back up, but there's really no reason we'd want to do that. And it just makes it so that if we try to make Krakow Face go here, oh look, he's flipping around and having a seizure, so we fall in the lava and die. So that won't always happen, but you just have to make sure you put Krakow Face over here. But this really should just be a sheer cutoff so that Krakow face is always at pretty much the same spot so that flippy thing does not happen. Something that occasionally happens is that if you have Krakow face shield you and then you walk forward a little too quickly, you die. Which is kind of understandable, but it really does feel like... Well, Croco Face is now under the lava, so he should be shielding you, so you should feel safe, right? But on rare occasion, you're not. It's just 
a little inconsistent and it doesn't really feel right. There are also some situations where I want Crackle Face to just scooch just a little bit. But you can't really do that. You have to make him move about a square. Or more. The bone just can't touch any part of his sprite, which means that you can't scooch him at all. And this is really a game where you do need to scooch in certain situations. We Happy sponge fun time. One thing that occasionally happens here that's very annoying, if you... Oh, it did it. Huh. Okay, so here is some, here's a couple things I really don't like and, a couple, and one thing I do like. Now, these are just spaced just slightly off from the wall that lets you fall into this pit and die. I really don't see why these couldn't just match up with the sides here and just, or just a little closer so you, it's impossible to fall. Now, a thing I do really like is that when Croco faces on these, the color goes green to show his weight. When they're red, it means they're um, not when they're, that means they're completely balanced. That's their default state. Croco, Croco face. Anyway, when they're blue, that means the little boy is on them. Well, that was odd. Anyway, I just like that. It, it's a nice visual way of showing the weight. But an inconsistency occurs because when we stand on here, the boy's weight is now represented by yellow. And it's represented by numbers here, but not numbers here. You don't need the numbers here, but it's just an issue of consistency, which becomes more of a problem in the later weights. But yeah, Croco Face is still red, or Croco Face is still green. Unbalanced is still red, but with me it's still two. And this is a sort of annoying bug. Anyway, when we're on here, suddenly the boy's weight is one. And I believe Croco Face's weight becomes, oops, three instead of six which it really should just be the same, just for consistency's sake. That is also weird, but not as much of a problem. There's also sort of an issue of affordances with these stones here. It really feels like you should be able to stand on them, because they're clearly substantial when you try to push them. You can't stand on them, and it really wouldn't be to your benefit to be able to stand on them. It just feels like it should be able to happen. It's not like a game-breaking issue, it's just, it just doesn't feel quite right, as I said. There you go, Crackle Face. Okay, Crackle Face's weight is now 5, where it was 6, and mine is 1 instead of, I guess it subtracted 1 from each. I get that our weights affect these, it counterbalances these different because they're different weights themselves, but the numbers could just be kept consistent. It would just make a bit more sense. Let's get out of here, Croco Face. I love you, Croco Face.